yeah guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back this is a first trader right here so i'm going to be taking a trade on this okay i'm going to be taking a trade on this uh, with a uh, uh okay zero points all right so for all right, you can see I've entered uh, a sell on this trade. Okay, I just want to catch a spike right here. So, but before uh, you jump into how to catch the spike, okay, I want you to pay attention here because we are going to be using uh, price action right here. Okay, we are going to be using price action and few indicators. Okay, now we had our spike immediately. We had the spike. You can see though it's small okay we are looking for more spike you can just see the entry and the spike okay the entry and the spike that is the most important thing this is sniper entry on how to catch spike on boom and crash you can see uh as i just entered the spike came so but why I, uh, uh, the question might be how do i even know like the exact point or the time to enter the trade like to get the spike immediately and that's when price action come to play you need to understand price action. You need to know uh, the price movement in order to get this entry, this kind of entry. Okay. So without you understanding price action, you are going to find it difficult to, you know, catch this kind of spikes. Okay. Now, if you look, um, we are going to be checking out the higher time frame, guys. Now, if I go to four hours time frame, look at this price action, guys. I've been riding this trade for over uh more than two weeks now okay i've been on this trade more than two weeks like you know peak after a swing high like what's up what is happening here so after a swing high from me after this swing high i'll just enter myself after this swing high i enter myself swing high i enter myself you know this is the way i keep picking these spikes you know catching spikes on this crash 500 okay now you can see we had uh the latest swing high as uh, the uh, the previous swing high is here okay and this is probably going to be the latest swing high which is my entry now okay now using a typical price action just understanding the price movement that's the first thing before you start applying any indicator at all okay you have to understand the price action you have to understand what the price is doing now if i want to close my trade i will just go and close and wait for after a pullback before i enter again but I want to stay long on this trade because I just want to hold my trade, okay? I want to hold my trade to cash more spikes. So I know basically the price might pull back then before the spikes start coming in full, okay? But why do I say that price action is very important? Now, if I zoom in, let me just remove the indicator side because I'm still going to share with you how I added that indicator. Look at this point. You can see we have uh, a, a support level. This point is serving as support on the here yeah, it's having a support right there so the price bounce back again to that level testing that support again at this zone now i'm now speculating that this price is now going to change this support now to uh, a resistance okay the support will resist the price from going up further so there will be uh, another swing high at that zone okay but only what i needed to see is this kind of reaction here okay is this kind of reaction you know seeing candlestick being rejected quick rejections uh there you can see the weak rejections right there a lot of um, um long weeks here confirming that this is the swing point but because of this video i want to share with you the sniper entry like sometimes it might not have all this week for you to confirm your trade okay before the spikes start coming but i'm also suggesting that if you want to be more accurate you always wait for this kind of rejections here okay you can see this kind of rejections right there a lot of uh weeks okay long weeks okay you can see we had another spy guys this is it all these things is happening live okay it's happening live it's not a joke guys it's not a joke and some of you will be like is this a real account blah 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 you can see it is for me i'm not interested in proving to you whether it's a real account or not i'm just proving to you that these things are very easy stuff to do okay so now 
your accuracy depends on you understanding um, higher time frame, understanding the price action. Now I've shown you in four hours time frame how this thing reacted and the price start pushing down. Okay, now you can see that this is a clear downtrend. Look at another swing high right there. Okay, you see the price reaction at this zone. Then before the price started pushing down, we had another swing high at this zone. Sorry, uh, four hours. I want to pick something before so. So this is uh, another swing high right here. So sometimes the price might not, you know, start consolidate so much on that swing high. That's why I entered this trade right here. Okay. Sometimes we might be waiting to see this kind of rejections. Okay. This long week, or you might be waiting for this kind of consolidation. But here, there is no much consolidation. The price pulled down. So once you see the price make a new swing high. You, you enter your trade or you wait for more confirmation, maybe seeing this kind of uh, con uh, consolidation or seeing this kind of rejections right here before you enter. Okay, so you can see I entered this trade because number one is that the price is trending down. Okay, number one is th that the price is trending down. Now, number two is that we are having uh, a zone here which have served as support okay so i have support right here and i'm now uh, speculating that it's going to turn that support to resistance now and keep pushing the price down okay now the next reason why i enter this trade is because the price is pulling back to that zone again okay the price is pulling back to the zone again which i know that probably the uh, the, the zone is going to be starting as resistance pushing the price down now i switch to a lower time frame for you to see if i go to one hour time frame you can now start observing those quick rejections here on one hour time frame okay you can see those weak rejections and uh, you know candlesticks start consolidating at that zone to confirm this you know in four hours you might not see all these things but in one hour you can now see those reactions okay you can now see from here you see this one this one is happening right now so this is basically what i discovered before i jump into this trade remember first you must see uh look at the higher time frame to see the price reaction okay you must look at the higher time frame to see uh, the direction of the trend where is the price going to now I've, we have seen that the price is going down we have to wait for a new swing high for a downtrend like this for crash like this. if you want to catch multiple spikes on crash like this you have to wait for a new swing high so once you see that swing high, then wait for confirmation. Either you see quick re uh, weak rejections or you see uh, consolidation or you see any candlestick pattern. Now I switch to a, um, a, a lower time frame like one hour to see this, to confirm this. Okay, which is uh, my one hour time frame. You can see how the candlestick starts, uh, uh, is being rejected at that zone. Okay, now after this, after this. You can now bounce to maybe one minute time frame and set up these indicators okay you know i'm supposed to take profits using this indicator okay because all of them already they have left that zone which is uh, uh my level 90 okay and push down so in in if i don't want to stay long i could have taken profit but i'm going to stay long because more spikes will be coming okay so at this zone at this point all my indicators converge at this at this zone before the spike these spikes start coming all of them were there both the black the pink color all of them were there at level 90 okay that's why i was able to target the exact point where the spike will start coming sorry that's why i was able to target where the spike is we start coming okay so but if you just do your analysis on a higher time frame without these indicators you are going to be having your spike but if you want to get the exact point like the sniper entry where you just enter and the spike starts coming then you have to put these indicators and wait for the indicators to converge at over uh this level okay level 90 okay or close to level 90 then you enter your trade okay you enter your trade to catch that spike now if i go to let me sh share with you the settings okay let me share with you the settings now i have i'm not using window one okay i'm not using window one 
I have my RSI normal. You can see, screenshot it. I don't want this video to be long. Okay, you can screenshot it. The level is 90. We have 10, we have 70, we have 30. Okay, now after this, uh, you click on done. Okay, you click on done. The next indicator we're going to be adding is uh, uh, envelope. Okay, we still need to see our upper bounds for this crash. You are looking at the upper bound, which is the blue one the blue line okay to converge at level 90 also with our moving averages okay if you are on boom you are looking for this yellow i think yellow the lower bounce to converge at level 10 okay with other moving averages so you can see you can screenshot the settings okay then click on done the next is the moving average we have moving average period seven we have um uh, sh uh period seven shift zero Method exponential apply to close uh, two pixels. You can see all these things. Screenshot them and set them up yourself. Then the next moving average is moving average pure 21. Okay. Uh, method exponential close two pixels red. Okay. This moving average should have the same color, guys. But it doesn't matter if you like. Just make sure that they all converge at the oversold or overbought region. Okay. Then the last moving average is moving average period 50. Then uh, shift zero method exponential close two pieces. Okay, then the color. Okay, so we are done. We are done. I told you I could have been taking pro. I could have uh, taken profit. Okay, but I want to stay longer. I'm not just here to catch few spikes. Okay, I'm here to you know catch the whole movement down. Okay, so you can see uh, how these things work. Once they converge here. Okay, once you check your higher time frame. And discover the price make a new uh, swing high then you check other uh, 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 things I've already explained in this video then come down to your indicator and make sure they all converge at level 90 for a crash if it is boom the opposite is the case on boom okay now for a crash you check if they converge there you now enter and you see how you start catching those spikes okay so basically for you to take a quality trade guys pay attention that is the mistake most of you do you don't just jump into any trade make sure that each trade you are taking counts okay make sure that each trade you are taking is a quality trade this is a bonus tip for you guys okay now for the fact that you see that the price is trending down okay you don't just jump into the trade so if the price is trending down Maybe you discover this price here. Let me uh, let me now do away with this our indicator section. Okay. So if if for for example, the price is trending down, and you observe this the price here, you see this price at this zone. Okay, and you have seen it's a downtrend. You don't just have to jump in to buy here. Sorry, so sorry, sorry. That's a mistake. For the price, of, for the fact that the price is here, you don't jump in to sell because it's it's selling. Okay. Because you might sell at that zone. Okay. If you sell at this zone, what the price does is that the price will just you don't know that the price is already about to make a pullback or retracement. Okay. The price will just correct. Move, make them correctional movement up and it will trigger your stop loss maybe if you enter a sale at that zone your stop loss might be somewhere here and the price will trigger it you will lose out of the trade okay so don't jump into a moving train guys okay don't jump into a moving train don't don't once you see that the price is already moving wait for the next move okay now look at how these prices have been moving the price we keep making this movement okay pull back pull back pull back so the only point you expected to enter this trade is at these zones for you to be safe you don't jump into the trade anywhere here because you don't know the time the price will be uh making that uh swing okay you don't know how when the price will be pushing uh, will pull back again to make the new swing high all right so that's why it is very important for you to always wait for the swing high first so for you to take a quality trade you must check the trend okay you must see uh, um, a swing on this particular strategy you must see a swing high 
on crash but on boom you must see a swing low okay then another number three you must see candlestick reacting maybe weak rejections or candlestick start consolidating if you are, if it is not clear you switch to a lower time frame to confirm that once you confirm that swing okay then if you now see that that zone is also serving as support at a time and also resistance it is now a strong another a strong uh, 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 zone okay now it becomes a confluence okay for you to take a trade for you to make you know take this quality trade you have to combine different factors now if you check out this and uh, you see all these things are on point then you switch to your maybe one minute time frame or five minute time frame add up your indicator and wait for it at over bot region for a crash if it is boom oversold region then you enter your trade okay you enter your trade and you know start you know catching those spikes start cutting those spy guys so this is it for this video okay this is it for this video and uh, I, <laughs> I beg you if you enjoy this smash that like button for me like my videos okay share the videos also and leave a comment on the kind of video you want me to create in the next video okay so guys this is it and this is how simple doing this catching spike is on boom and crash so that is it don't forget to follow me on instagram also on facebook guys i'll be dropping signals on instagram i've been doing that so if you are not there join i will leave the link in the description of this video okay so that is that for this video guys i think uh, we are still going to hold this trade for some time okay we had a small spike again so we are going to hold the trade for some time so you, it depends on what you want you can actually take the uh, once you cast the spike you close or once you um or you leave the the, the 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 trade for a long period of time because you are going to be definitely go going to be in profit you can see the price our lines are going there again our lines are there and that's the reason why this spike came so and it's still at that zone so we are going to be expecting more spikes on this trade guys so this is it and i will see you guys in the next one enjoy bye for now guys